What's up YouTube, Freed Hero here. I'm gonna deck profile my Shadow Paladin deck profile. A little late to the party here, but I slow built this. This deck basically fell into my hands over time. I got like a bunch of pieces for free and then the rest I got for cheap. I spent like $80 total for the deck, not counting the gift marker. But uh, yeah, so I'll just jump into it. We got our force markers. We just have five for now. Probably get more later just to be safe, but you realistically shouldn't be going into that many in a game. Uh, starter, the full bow, and then triggers, the 4 PG Maclears, uh, 8 crit, 4 heal. Um, some people play the 1 draw trigger. I personally don't want to run the draw trigger just to call it off in main as it's a function if you run out of copies in deck. In which case, I might just call, you know, one of my other 5k triggers at that point instead of risking potentially not drive checking uh, a crit when I need it when it would be that one draw trigger in most games. Um, and then we have the four blaster darks. I'm trying to get commons of these. <laughs> four uh, makas and four cat bed because. He just gets big. Um, I don't think the blasters are worth running right now. They're just basically a neg for no reason when you can just have big beater or uh, card advantage or just, you know, retiring rear guards or, or having, you know, your vanguard with twin drive. And then apparently I skipped grade ones. Uh, so, grade one lineup. The four in the main because she's really good to just be really good fodder and stuff. Deck thinning is deck winning. Four javelins. Uh, card advantage is nice. Drawing cards is cool. Plus 3k is kind of nice too. And then we have four charons. Counter charge engine. Pretty decent. Um, and we don't have a lot of cards thrown anyway. Plus we have one abyss. I don't know the rest of that name. Um, this is like the tech spot. Or you could run like painter or something too if you really need it, but generally you don't uh, so bust enough to do much with it. But the plus three k on that is nice. But this, um, when you need it or you know you're gonna call triggers, you can call this, use its skill to draw a card and call the trigger in your hand that you're gonna call anyway if you're in that situation. And then grade threes, playing the four phantom blaster dragons, of course. Three of the Dark Dictators, because he's a really good backup ride. If you don't hit PBD, or you know, if you go into him first, and then you can go into PBD after. And then the one uh, Bod Bakar, just to get that extra rear guard for sat costs for stuff like uh, Phantom Blaster Dragon. Not your ideal ride here, of course, but it's a really good card to have. We like plus ones. And that's basically the entire deck. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later.